Right, so she won Hauraki Waikato with a 7,695 vote majority, so there's no denying Nanaya Mahuta's popularity in her electorate. But has she got what it takes to lead Labour? If she does, she'll be the first Māori woman to lead a major political party. Soon we'll be talking with her, but first a snapshot of her political journey so far. 18 years have passed since a fresh-faced 26-year-old swore allegiance to Parliament in Te Reo Māori. Five years later, her father, Sir Bob Mahuta, passed away. Sir Robert is one of the great tōtara of Māoridom. It will be felt as a great loss not only in Tainui and the family, but throughout all of New Zealand. Under Clark's leadership, she moved up the ranks, over time taking charge of customs, youth affairs and local government but it all came unstuck in the battle over seabed and foreshore legislation. It is incongruous, it is contradictory for our people to support the Labour Party and also our member, who is a member of the Labour Party. Nanaya was against the bill, but didn't follow Tariana out the door, choosing instead to toe the party line on the third vote. Since then, she's been relatively quiet. In 2005, she was David Cunliffe's running mate, in 2013, the mother of two brought her newborn baby into Parliament, causing a brief stir. Now, she's the senior member in Labour's strong Māori caucus, but after almost two decades in Parliament, she's made no bold political moves until now.